and welcome to another insightful interview with uh, Electrive and Eco Energetica, a Polish charging station manufacturer. And with me is Matthew Wojenski, co-founder. And we will talk a little bit about uh, where the company is going. And we're going to talk about how you got here. Because I heard yesterday that you drove here with an uh, Audi e-tron um, from Zilona Gora, which I checked on Google. That's about 700 kilometers. So yes. how often did you have to charge? Uh, yes. Welcome uh, on our booth. Uh, great to have you here. So yes, indeed, I uh, drove here with electric car, of course. Uh, couldn't be uh, different. And it took me only one hour more uh, than, uh, you know, gasoline or diesel car. Uh, so I stopped twice for a quick charging with uh, Ionity and uh, Allego chargers. Uh, and it was uh, perfectly well. A uh, smooth trip. <laughs> Okay, so uh, range is no longer a problem, but um, you just said you stopped at Dionity and Allego. What does the charging infrastructure in Poland look like? like? Are there a lot of charging stations or are there still a lot of white spots as we call them in German? Uh, yeah, so basically Poland has still something to do about it, definitely. There is roughly uh, 50,000 battery electric uh, vehicles in Poland. And I think uh, roughly 1,000 uh, charging stations, so maybe 2,000 charging points uh, in Poland. And I would say that uh, there is more like destination charging instead of uh, charging along the highways. Uh, but the CPOs, uh, you know, have uh, Poland uh, on their focus and I think that they are coming. Uh, so Ionity is, is coming, PowerDot, Greenway is uh, growing with their uh, network. Uh, and we are happy because then we can supply them uh, with our hardware, with our charging stations. So the hardware obviously only works if there's electricity going into it that can come out of it. How do you see, it's a bit political question, how do you see um, the sustainability of EVs in Poland? Because there a lot of the electricity produced is still produced from coal, which isn't very sustainable as we know. Yes, that's right. Uh, but I think that the energy mix uh, will be changing in upcoming years. Uh, and uh, still there are analyzes that uh, even today, uh, the mm, greenhouse gas emission, uh, once we compare electric cars to, to, to ICE, uh, I mean, uh, internal combustion engine cars uh, is, is better. And uh, what's the most important basically that, uh, you know, we are uh, putting away uh, emission and exhaust from the city centers. Uh, because uh, electromobility starts there with uh, passenger cars, but also with uh, battery electric buses. So I think we are on a good way uh, with that. Okay, so you build a bunch of different chargers. You mentioned Ionity earlier. You build a charging station for Ionity. Um, you also have a new charging station here at the booth, which you are kind of uh, built for Germany or for the uh, German public charging network, the Deutschlandnetz, if it. Uh, um, and so my question would be, well, well, first question actually, how many charges, how many different types of charges do you uh, manufacture and what type of capacities do you have in terms of manufacturing? Uh, so roots of our company uh, are coming from the segment which is related very much with public transportation, so battery electric buses. Uh, nevertheless, since a couple of years, when we start uh, like a domestic cooperation with uh, PKN Orlen, which is the biggest compa company from the fuel sector, and they are building also their network uh, of DC chargers. We are shaping a strategy more and more into DC chargers for uh, passenger EVs. Uh, so uh, we still keep a very strong position um, on the bus segment. Right now, electric cars, this is, this is uh, our goal to reach the CPO market. And uh, once we have a good connection to the heavy duty OEMs, we are also looking very much into the uh, e-track uh, direction and electrification of uh, long haul distribution and, and transporting uh, of the goods. So uh, when it comes to our factory, which is located in the western part of Poland, roughly 200 kilometers from Berlin, uh, we have our own facilities over there. Uh, around 7,000 square meters, and we produce roughly 10,000 chargers uh, a year at the moment. Uh, nevertheless, we are expanding with uh, new buildings. Uh, we're optimizing uh, production, 
Uh, so uh, we're going to reach a target of at least 30,000 chargers uh, in a close future. In comparison with other manufacturers, what, what's your unique selling point? Or what makes you better than other manufacturers, according to you? Uh, you know, especially uh, the thing that uh, the products are designed and built from the beginning up to the end uh, in our company. So we build up um, all different uh, resources uh, which are responsible for the mechanical design, electrical design, design of electronics and software engineering in our company. And apart from that, we invest uh, more than 50 million euros uh, in our own um, laboratory. So uh, in the company there is a R&D center which um, um, has the uh, electromagnetic compatibility chambers, chambers uh, for the noise test, chamber for the uh, climate test. So uh, this uh, really helps us to uh, test the product before we uh, give it to the customer, which is a big advantage. And in terms of price point, where are you compared to other manufacturers? Uh, you know, market is uh, growing with the competitors, so of course the uh, price must be uh, tracked according to that. I think we are on a good uh, position. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are a great partner which is uh, located in Poland, so we can deliver really high quality product to the Western and also CE region. Okay, you mentioned earlier that you started in the bus sector. Now, um, I heard you have about 80% of the uh, bus charging infrastructure in Poland is built by you. Uh, in Europe, it's about 20%. Um, and especially in Paris, there are a lot of your charging stations because you built the charging stations for the local um, public transport operator there, the RITP. Um, so, is this, um, yeah, my question would be, is this a sector that you're still pursuing or what, what are you looking at? You said you're moving more in the direction of EV charging or car charging? Uh, you know, of course, uh, we want to uh, keep uh, this position when it comes to uh, e-bus segment. Uh, nevertheless, we recognize that uh, market of city buses in Europe is somehow limited. You know, there is a um, specific number of uh, city buses in Europe and uh, of course they will circulate all the time uh, and PTOs will uh, change uh, ICE buses to, to, to electric buses uh, but we see that uh, uh, we can scale up our business especially uh, in the segment related with public charging for passenger EVs and after that trucks. Uh, yeah, but of course, the, the, the company built uh, its expertise and experience uh, on the segment of uh, buses, which is very specific, because uh, there is a, a high level of uh, engineering and customization when it comes to the uh, products delivery and uh, fulfilling all the requirements uh, for the customer. Uh, so uh, we still have it in our DNA, but we want to be more and more, you know, company that can produce um, like a serial uh, products. Okay, last question. If you had one wish for the future, um, I won't be able to grant it, but I'll ask you anyway. So what would it be? Um, uh, you know, we are striving uh, to be uh, top players, uh, not only in Europe, but also worldwide. Uh, so I think we are on a good position in this heavy duty segment and right now uh, it's uh, quite yeah, tough work to enter also uh, this podium when it comes to the suppliers uh, for the CPOs uh, and also in our roadmap, in our plans, there is a expansion to US market. So uh, internally we are working very hardly on that and in the close future we will definitely announce something big in terms of that market. Okay, I did say that was my last question. I have another one. What does close future mean in that case? When are you uh, moving to the, or when are you expanding to the US market? Uh, this is again uh, the matter of uh, two years maximum. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, I wish you good luck with that. Thanks uh, for take, letting us take a look at Ego Energetica and what you guys are doing. And yeah, good luck for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you for this uh, interview and uh, yeah, great discussion. Mm -hmm.